Hi everybody, thank you for watching. For those of you guys that are new, my name is Carly, and today I'm gonna to be teaching you how I got this full face, cut crease, affordable makeup look. Every product that I use can either be found at the drugstore or online, so if you guys wanna see how I got this look right here, then please keep watching. To start off today's look, I'm using the NYX Pore Filler. I'm applying that on my face in a downwards motion. For foundation, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Coverage HD Foundation. I'm gonna apply it with my hands, and I'm gonna blend it in with my beauty blender. To contour my nose, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Beautiful Bronze. For concealer, I'm using this one by ColourPop in the color medium. You can't get it at the drugstore, but it's cheaper than I think most drugstore concealers. It's only $6, and I've used this before and I know I really like it. So I'm gonna apply this under my eyes on my smile lines, on my chin, and also between my brows. And we're just gonna blend that all in. I'm gonna apply a little bit more right next to the contour. And I'm just gonna blend that in. To set my under eyes, I'm using the Air Spun Powder. I'm also gonna set under here, my chin, my forehead. For brows, I'm using the NYX Brow Pencil in Espresso. I'm gonna shape them a little bit. As you guys can probably already tell, I don't have eyelash extensions anymore. They officially are gone. I'm giving myself a break because this girl cannot control her picking habits. So, I look like a thumb. They'll grow back. I'm grabbing my NYX contour kit and I'm picking up this gray tone right here. And I'm going to use that to contour my nose. And then I'm gonna wipe away the powder. I'm grabbing a little bit of this first shade from my kit and I'm gonna contour my cheeks just a little bit. So first I'm gonna pick up this light brown shade with my Sigma E40 and I'm gonna start blending that into my crease. I'm gonna be dragging the shadow out a little bit further as well, like towards my brow. I'm then picking up this orange shade a little bit and I'm gonna blend that right on top of it and up towards my brow again. With my Morphe M33, I'm grabbing this darker orange and I'm gonna apply that underneath those two shades, more like in, in my crease. I'm then grabbing the darkest brown shade just a little bit and that's gonna go right under that orange and with my Morphe M170-4 I'm gonna just blend that in And I'm just also going to be dragging it out over here. Grabbing my pencil brush and that darkest brown, I'm going to go right up against that line. I'm 
And this is gonna help accentuate it even more. And grabbing a little bit of this lightest shade, I wanna pat that on my lid. And then I'm gonna go back in with that same brush and sharpen it up. Using the same light matte shade, I'm just going to highlight my brow first with that. So for eyeliner, I don't have any drugstore liquid eyeliner. Um, a lot of mine dried out and I had rebought a couple. So I'm just going to use my Tarte eyeliner today. And I'm going to line my upper lash line. So you want your eyeliner to go in the same direction as the shadow. To highlight underneath my brow, I'm using the Physician's Formula, the Butter Highlighter in the color Champagne. For lashes, I'm using the Christina WSP Lashes. These are my hands down favorite. For the inner corner highlight, I'm picking up this yellow shimmer. And then under my eyes, I'm applying this shimmery cranberry. And that's going to go all throughout the bottom lash line. And I'm picking up a little bit of that matte strawberry color. And I'm applying that in the inner half. And then with the darkest matte brown, I'm applying that on the outer edge. And I'm just lightly dragging that out in that same direction as the eyeliner and the shadow. For mascara, I'm using the NYX Pinup Tease. So my camera wasn't recording for my bottom mascara. I just applied a little bit of the Airspun powder and then I applied the bottom mascara and once it dries, I'm gonna wipe away the powder. So I'm gonna wipe away the powder from under my eyes. To bronze up my face, I'm using this Baked Bronzer by Milani. Highlight my nose, I'm gonna use that same highlighter. This one's really nice. For blush today, I'm using this one by Wet n Wild. It's called Mellow Wine. And with my Beauty Blender, I'm going to apply a little bit of this highlighter onto my cheeks. Just a little bit. I think I want to do a red lip today. I think that's what I'm going to go with. To line my lips, I'm using Cherry Pie by Milani. And I'm using Creeper by ColourPop. This is one of my favorite reds. I'm gonna go in with this pickup liner from the bomb just because it's a little sharper. So I definitely recommend this lip liner over the Milani one. Um, I probably would not rebuy the Milani one if you guys are looking for a good red lip liner. This one's actually really, really good. I don't know what color it is though. Boyfriend material. So I'm just going to throw my hair together, put on an outfit, and I'll be right back. So now that I'm dressed, I'm going to apply a little highlighter on my shoulders because why not? They're showing. And I'm going to finish off this look with the Wet n Wild Natural Finish Setting Spray. <laughs> This is the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
please make sure to subscribe to my channel and click that bell so you guys can get post notifications. And also a quick reminder that every Wednesday and Sunday I will have new videos for you guys at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, I'll see you guys later.